what's good what's good welcome back to my channel davinci 11 legend beats i just want to give a special shout out to everybody that subscribed we went ahead and hit a thousand subscribers so i'm super excited about that thank you again for commenting liking sharing everything so i appreciate the support i got a special video for you guys today i'm going to go ahead and break down how to create your own photo presets and i'm going ahead and break this down because i know that for a fact the portal plugin is very very big inside of our producer community and it's like a fantastic plugin. so i'm gonna go ahead and break down different type of knobs and manipulations you can do and how to also go ahead and save your presets so you can make your own banks so let's jump right on into it so here as we see i got me a little melody we're gonna go ahead and listen to it i threw a little eq on it you know got rid of some of my lows amplify my highs warms so here's the melody So we got the melody right there, so I'm going to on it. So let's go ahead and open up Portal. Automatically, we're going to press play so you can go ahead and hear everything that's on it. Pretty simple. As I said, as soon as you open up Portal, it's going to be on the default. So head right on over here to the preset knobs. And you can keep the wet knob up to 100, but I usually like to keep it on 50. But starting out, just go ahead and have it on 100 so you can really hear what you're doing in the beginning and then start to make subtle effects and changes so i'm gonna go ahead and mess with the stretch so automatically i just want to go ahead and stop the melody right there like i said keeping the wet knob on 100 you can automatically hear fresh inside of your ears each different type of knob once you press the manipulation but like i said once you get your tone down or whatever the case would be, even in the beginning, you can go ahead and turn it down to 50, but let's continue. That's the offset. the re-trigger it's on one bar now when it comes down to the re-trigger this one really has um goes hand in hand when it comes down to you manipulating mods so before we go ahead and start messing with that i'm gonna show you the different mods and they have some presets in here as well All you got to do is just click this little arrow the first one that i do like to start with is like this little wave symbol right here let's go ahead and play it out And then let's go ahead and turn up the size. Another little gem I'm throwing there. If you right click on the side, oh, damn. All right, so here's another little gem I got for you guys. Now that we got our mod one down and we turned up our size, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this onto the size so we can have our um, more flexible control on it. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna set it to bipolar, which is gonna make it do like this, like cool little panning effect. And you're more than likely gonna hear it because it turned all the way up, so let's go ahead. get the there we go 
So, as you can see, that first little gem that I felt. Damn it. As you can see, that first little gem that, that I showed you, you can actually apply that to any knob and any mod. Wherever you see this little plus button, you can drag it and drop it on top of the count to re trigger the speed, the offset, the, um, you know, even when it comes down to the effects knobs inside of here that we didn't get to yet, like start manipulating, you know, having a better control when it comes down to the uh, portal preset. So we went ahead and we put the sine wave on the size and we got a pan in from the left to right. So let's go ahead and start building up some more variations inside of the preset. Let's head over to mod two. And I guess right about now, we can go ahead and turn that down to 50. Let me show you what happened when we turn the knob down to 50%. So you don't get that, you know, extra wobbly in your face effect. I like this side side. So now that we got that, I'm gonna go ahead and humanize it with this knob right here. we're going to change the rate from one bar let's go ahead and change it up to um an eighth and i think i want to try and throw that on to the shaper and like i said when it comes down to this just go ahead and try your own ways so you can get different type of variations and that's how you start to develop your own sound design and your own sounds by just trying stuff out because there is no right or wrong way when it comes down to music production. I'm trying to scale up just a bit. Let me see. We still haven't even turned on the gain delay. This is the low pass. So now that we got that down, I'm liking that little effect. But it's now, as you can see, now that I turned this on and I started manipulating this, there's too much going on on the um, X and Y control. So this is where we come down to our effects. And also it has to do with the macros over here, but we haven't got to that yet because we actually gonna do more control when it comes down to them. So let's head back over into the effects and we are gonna add a chorus. We're gonna turn that on. And I am gonna add the macro one to each of these knobs. So again, like I said, it's full control. And then we're going to start the macro manipulation. Need a little bit more depth. some more width and I think I'm gonna turn the feedback down some I mean um turn the feedback up some
So now I'm going to come down here to the second knob, and that's when we come into macro 2. And we're going to do the same thing that we did to 1. And let's add, so that's a chorus. Let's go ahead and add a filter. Let's make sure we got it on. now like when you get to stuff like that and the cutoff and everything and that's coming from the manipulation of the mod 2 with the sides so even if you think you have a good preset when it comes down to that and you want to go ahead and switch this up to make this a little more smoother to go with my one you can come back over here i like the way that's going but now this is too harsh Yeah, so once you got whatever type of, you know, preset that you want to have, whatever type of manipulation that you want to go with, you know, just make sure you remember if you're inside of a dog vibe, a cheer vibe, or, you know, whatever type of vibe you is, we want to get that right down to it. Let's just say that we want to go ahead and save all of these presets. You come right over here to the default, this little floppy drive sign right here. You click that. You're going to go ahead and save it, whatever name you want to have it. Um, let's call this the the stud the stud stud effect. <laughs> so now that we got that saved, once we come back over here to our presets and we are on user, as you can see, the stud effect is here. I got a couple of more presets that I've been starting to build, you know, as I go along. But yeah, that's the basics of going ahead and starting to make your own portal presets if you got any tips any comments um if this video helps you out i appreciate it. if you go ahead and drop a comment you know what i mean um thank you guys for watching i'm definitely come back and give you another tutorial very soon appreciate y'all big ups to everybody subscribe that was subscribers you don't hit it let's go